At first glance, you might get fooled by their beautifully patterned cone-shaped shells. But these seemingly harmless creatures are anything but ordinary, for they can deliver one of the most venomous stings known to man, which can be fatal even for humans in some cases. These venomous marine snails are found in all tropical and subtropical oceans, but are most diverse in the warm Indo-West Pacific region. There are about 900 species of cone snails, and they all come in stunning and beautifully color-patterned cone-shaped shells that can vary in size, with some reaching up to 15 centimeters in length. But their stunning shells aren't only the envy of many collectors due to their stunning diversity and vibrant colors, but they also provide protection and enable them to float in the water, allowing them to navigate in search of prey or mates. They're also excellent examples of underwater grace. They use a combination of jet propulsion and ciliary gliding to move through the water with elegance. It's mesmerizing to watch them in action. And they're carnivores, meaning that some of them prey on marine worms, while others prefer small fish, mollusks, or even other cone snails. But how do cone snails even consume their prey? Well, they go about it in two ways. Some of them use a hollow needle-like tooth called a radular tooth to inject venom into their prey while holding it, and then eating it. These snails typically target fish, and these are the same type of snails that can kill a human because of their highly toxic venom. Other cone snails prefer to engulf the prey whole using the proboscis after immobilizing it with venom. Cone snails have separate sexes, and they reproduce by laying eggs. The male will locate a female and fertilize her eggs, either internally or externally. The female will then lay about 40 individual eggs in protective capsules, which are anchored to the sea floor. In these capsules, tiny, perfectly formed baby snails develop before being released into the water. The growth of a cone snail can be quite slow, it may take several years for them to reach maturity, but once they do, they become skilled hunters and breeders, continuing the cycle of life in the ocean. Again, don't be fooled by their elegance. These creatures possess one of the deadliest, most complex, and most potent venoms in the animal kingdom. And this is where their unique fighting styles come into play. Let's check that out. They have eye stalks on either side, but they hunt primarily by using scent using their siphons. Although they're slow-moving predators, they have a deadly weapon up their sleeve, a venomous harpoon. This modified radula tooth can be extended rapidly from the snail's mouth to inject venom into its prey. This venom is a complex mixture of toxins that can paralyze or kill the prey quickly. Some of these toxins target different ion channels and receptors in the nervous system, causing paralysis, respiratory failure, and even death. When a cone snail detects a potential meal, it extends a long, flexible proboscis to aim its harpoon-like tooth at its prey. This proboscis can be quickly maneuvered in any direction, enabling the snail to strike with deadly precision. Some species of cone snails actively hunt for their prey, and may use a specialized sensory organ to detect chemicals released by their prey. Some species hunt in groups, as it allows them to take down even larger prey. But as they're mostly ambush predators, they often bury themselves in the sand or rubble and wait for their prey to come to them. Once prey is within range, the cone snail fires its harpoon, injecting its potent cocktail of toxins that paralyze and immobilize its prey. But here's where it gets truly remarkable. Different species of cone snails produce venom with distinct compositions and effects. Some venoms induce paralysis, while others cause excruciating pain or even instant death. This gives the cone snail plenty of time to engulf its prey using its proboscis before it can escape. The diversity in venom composition among cone snail species is thought to have evolved as an adaptation to their specific prey. 
For example, the geography cone snail produces venom that can instantly immobilize fish, ensuring a meal doesn't escape. The harpoons of some cone snails can even be loaded with venom, ready to fire upon contact. This means that they don't need to bite their prey, they merely need to touch it. This high-speed predatory tactic is truly a marvel of natural engineering. Did you know that some species of cone snails are known to produce chemicals with potential medicinal properties? Researchers say that the cone snail's venom helps them develop a painkiller that's more effective than morphine and has no addictive side effects. And there's also a chance they'll be able to develop compounds able to treat neurological disorders and even Alzheimer's disease. Some cone snail species are known for a peculiar behavior called sand harvesting. They gather small grains of sand and use them to reinforce their shells. It's an extraordinary adaptation, as it adds weight and stability to their shells. But the coolest thing about them is that the diversity of cone snail species is mind-boggling. With over 800 recognized species, each displaying unique patterns and colors, they can change the color of their shells to blend in with their surroundings. Some species of cone snails are known to form aggregations of hundreds or even thousands of individuals. But they're facing a number of threats, including habitat loss, overfishing, and climate change. Some species of cone snails are also threatened by the shell trade. But conservation efforts are underway to protect cone snail populations and their habitats. Scientists are also working to develop sustainable ways to harvest cone snail venom for research and drug development. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.